Good day everyone, this is our presentation for the digestive system and we are from group 1. The food you eat takes an incredible journey through your body from top to bottom. Along the way the beneficial parts of your food are absorbed, giving you energy and nutrients. Here's a step-by-step -step account of the digestive system's workings. So, what is the digestive system? The digestive system is made out of organs that are important for digesting food and liquids. These include the mouth, pharynx, esophagus, pancreas, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, rectum, and anus. Now comes different parts of our digestive system. First is the mouth. It is the beginning of the digestive tract. After you start eating, you chew your food into pieces that are more easily digested. Your saliva mixes with the food to begin to break it down into form your body can absorb news. When you swallow, your tongue passes the food into your throat. While pharynx or throat, on the other hand, is a passageway leading from the mouth and nose to the esophagus. The pharynx permits the passage of swallowed solids and liquids into the esophagus. Next is our esophagus. The function of your esophagus is to carry food and liquid from your mouth to your stomach. A series of muscular contractions within the esophagus deliver food to your stomach. The fourth organ is the stomach. It is a hollow organ or container that holds food while it is being mixed with the stomach enzymes. It mixes the food and grinds it into a finely divided chime that increases the surface area of the food in preparation for digestion. We now move on to the small intestine. It helps to further digest food coming from the stomach. It absorbs nutrients and water from the food so they can be used by the body. Next organ on the list is the pancreas. During digestion, it makes pancreatic juices called enzymes. These enzymes break down sugar, fats, and starches. It also helps your digestive system by making hormones. There are chemical messengers that travel through your blood. Another organ is the large intestine or colon. It is responsible for processing waste, so the emptying the bowels is easy and convenient. It's a six-foot-long muscular tube that connects the small intestine into the rectum. And then the rectum is eight inches chamber that connect the colon to your anus. The rectum job is to receive stool from the colon. Let you know that there is stool to be evacuated. And then hold the stool until evacuation happens. Last but not the least, anus. It is the opening at the far end of the digestive tract through which stool leaves the body. That wraps up the different parts of the digestive system. We now move on to the possible diseases acquired by it. Common digestive system diseases and disorders include Gastro is a pleasure reflux disease, GERD or chronic acid reflux, ABS or irritable bowel syndrome. Lactose intolerance, cancer, Crohn's disease, and celiac disease. And here are some tips on how to keep your digestive system healthy. Drink water often. Include fiber and probiotics in your diet. Exercise. Avoid alcohol and smoking. And lastly, manage your stress. Next part of the video is how digestive system works with other systems in our body. The digestive system works with skeletal and muscular system by providing the nutrients for the bone growth repair and muscle to do work better. Well, it works with respiratory system by providing nutrients for the diaphragm in order to facilitate breathing. At the same time, it provides nervous and endocrine system, energy for the brain to function and control the release and enzyme and hormones. Lastly, immune system with the trends so that it can use the antibodies in our cells to kill the bad guys. And that's it for our video. We hope you enjoyed and learned from it. 